Vikings, welcome back. This time, we have a story to tell. It's kind of a funny one, too. Like, like a like, super cool funny one. It's weird. I don't understand it, but, you know. It's a mind-boggling story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, yeah. <laughs> Birds. Yeah. Go figure, right? <laughs> so while their brother was here, while Chuck was here, um, I think it was one of the nights right before he left, wasn't it? Yeah, about I think like a couple days before then. I think so. Um, we found out that we had an escape. Hey, oh, bird just jumped on my. You be nice to thunder and lightning, <laughs> Minnie. Sorry. Um. <laughs> We have two birds named Thunder and Lightning, and they're beautiful. I'll show you them later. They're so cute. But um, we found out that we had an escaped bird. And <laughs> so I woke up. Don't even think about it, mister. Those are my toes. Thank you, Thunder. Or Lightning. What? Whichever. Yeah, lightning. Whichever. You're Lightning. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Back to the story of ours. <laughs> so I woke up really early in the morning thinking, okay, it's really awkward that I'm hearing a bird. Because, well, we're on the other side of the property, and yes, guineas are extremely loud. Especially, especially thunder! Now that we have her, she's obnoxiously loud. Even she, more so. She's like, I don't even know, like, it's not... Like, she's louder than the rest of them put together. She really like, is. She really is. And that's part of the reason why we got her. <laughs> is because her previous owners, well, they were kind of just annoying. She was annoying them. Because they, she would roost, like, right next to their bed and just crow. Or... I don't know Which, if it's called a crow or whatever it is exactly that she does, she did it over and over and over again. Drove everybody nuts. Um, and it's starting to drive me nuts, but she's beautiful, so I don't mind. Mister, you get... Okay, I think we're standing next to their food. Let's go a little further okay. this way. <laughs> that one is lightning. Oh, yeah, show That's your feathers. Pretty. That pretty girl right there, that is thunder. She's the obnoxious, annoying one. You but do you guys see how beautiful these are? Like she's like an all purple, dark color, and he's just super light. I've never seen guineas with these colors before. Yeah, like they're gorgeous. You wouldn't expect them to be opposite, like the gender, because like the color. But like, no. Hey, stay away from my muddy feet. Okay, so I <laughs> I woke up thinking that I could hear a guinea way too loud and way too close. And I didn't really think anything of it. Like, I looked out the window, but I didn't come over. I don't know why I didn't come over, but I didn't come over. Um, Good job. Yeah, I probably should have. My arm is hurting. Um, but, <laughs> but um, after we woke up and Chuck got over here and everything, I think it was Doug, their dad, Mentioned that there's a bird on the top of the freaking aviary. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Not like in the aviary and like hanging from it, but literally outside on the top. Just chilling. So it took us a few hours to try and get her. She went into the neighbor's field a few times. She went in the road a couple of times. <laughs> Up in a tree. Everybody had to throw rocks at her to try and get her down. And I was kind of nervous because there was... Vultures, turkey vultures, or some big bird of prey <laughs> trying to get to her, in my opinion. He was like all swooming like down. It. it was swooming. It doesn't do this, but it was swooming down trying to get her. <laughs> so we had the bright idea, my neighbor, we had the bright idea to wait a few hours and then try and get her. Chuck apparently yeah. didn't know the rules of the waiting game because he came over yeah, and tried neighbor. to get her. Hi, neighbor. But he tried to get her, um, and we kind of, well, we finally got her out of the tree. Okay, let's go back to the tree. We, tree. After a while, we finally got her out of the tree. And, no, we didn't, did we? No, we didn't. We just left her. Oh, yeah. And then she flew back over to where she was in the beginning. Go figure. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so um, she wanted to try and sleep there. Yeah. Yeah, because she's a goober. Sorry, you guys, my arm is hurting. Hold on. There. Um, sorry, that was a lovely face. <laughs> But, um, so she, she came up over here, and Chuck, with his brilliant little mind, 
Decent, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, he is pretty good. I don't know if he's brilliant, but hey, whatever. He he can be the, the, the deal with that one. Anyways, okay, back to this. So <laughs> Chuck comes over and tries to get her all by himself. Took no. him a while. I don't know exactly what happened because well, I wasn't out here watching him. I probably should have. That would have been a really yeah. fun thing to watch. But apparently, at one point, <laughs> he had gotten her into his jacket. But he didn't actually <laughs> grab her. Okay, so he got he got her twice, and both times she wound up slipping out of his jacket somehow. Like I guess he didn't have a hold of her all the way. And I'm like, how do you not? Okay, <laughs> see now he doesn't know what the hell the heck he's doing with birds. Yeah, it's great. It's it's great. Yeah, because normally when you grab them, you're supposed to grab their feet, make sure they can't fly away, yeah, no. unless you're Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> But he, he got it in the jacket and just let it go. So after quite a few hours of trying to get this bird, we finally got the bird <laughs> and got it in here. Okay, so today I go out. Ow. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay, so we just switched sides because my arm is really hurting. So I'm sorry. Please don't get too confused. I don't think you will. Well, you just explained it, so probably not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> today. So, today, I let the birds out, and we were going to leave. Well, we come back home, and she decides that she's going to come check on eggies. Because the girls really like to collect the eggs, which is okay with me. So it's, okay with me. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get, like, pecked at normally, so okay. Not me. Yeah. That's because I feed them every morning. Yeah. She took over my job. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So today, I let the bird out, and then we come home, and she comes to check on the eggs and realizes that that gate, wait, there we go. That gate, I left open. Like, 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 that far. Oops, Cheyenne. Luckily, she decided that after she got the eggs, she was going to count all the birds. Just like the previous incident. Yeah. So, <laughs> she, she counts all the birds. There is something new. <laughs> a different guinea. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> that the guinea that we had issues catching is not ours. And we just accumulated another bird. Because when we first got these guineas from the show, um, they gave us eight adults. They gave us two females, eight males. Um, after a few months or so, like that's six, seven total. months or so. Yeah, that's... Ten what, did I, what did I say? You said eight. It's te- it was ten. I don't know. And how then to you match. said, and then you said eight females and then two males. That, did which, I? Uh, yeah, which adds it up to ten. Okay. Let me clarify because Cheyenne doesn't know what she's saying right now. <laughs> we got given ten guineas. There you go. Eight males <laughs> and two females. There we go. I mapped it correctly. Woo. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, so after a while, we ended up giving a couple of our male guineas to a neighbor because he wanted guineas, and, well, we had a lot of males, and we didn't want to have to eat them. Um, not that I'm not wanting to eat the guineas. I will eventually I mean, just... They look kind of good. As you're staring at lightning. Yes. Hi, baby boy. She's pretty. No, 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 no. They're Don't eat pretty. me. Thank you. Um, anyways, sorry. Um, what we gave two to our friends. Well, a friend of ours gave us thunder and lightning. They're a breeding set. So we got two more. So that I'm goes back, back up, up to, 10. to 10. No, we have 11 guineas. I, I don't know how. We have 11 guineas. We counted like three or four times to be sure. Like each. Yeah, okay. We, we have 11. Yeah. That happens. And I'm pretty sure we got an extra girl, which I'm so okay with. We've got, the, that I know of, besides light, no, thunder, we have, my arm is just hurting. Sorry, you guys. It's going all crooked. <laughs> <laughs> but um, besides thunder, we have two that I know of. One is custard. I named her. Go figure. Um, the other one doesn't have a name. But the bird that was up in the tree was a girl. Do you want to hold it? Why not? Because, well, I... <laughs> you can see people again. Sorry, but I'm... My You're arms short? hurt. Yeah, my arms hurt. I don't know why. There we go. But, um... So, we got an extra girl somehow. I'm on a slant. 
I'm further down the street than you are, so just. <laughs> yeah, you that. Hey, you don't laugh at me. Bro, no. You be quiet. Anyways. What was I saying? I don't remember. But, like, how we thought the first guinea that got out was from a hole, like, right up there. And we were looking around, and I'm like, I think it's out of there. So we patched it up, and... Some that was crud. <laughs> I was standing on a log, okay, on my tippy toes, and she's just standing normally, just grabbing it, on the ground. it down for me. On the ground. I'm so upset. I'm like, you butthead. Okay, keep in mind, she is 15. I'm 26. There's something so wrong with this. But it's funny. Your genetics suck. <laughs> or or is that mine? Yeah, it's like, yeah. that's mine. <laughs> I'm, the I'm the shortest one out of my family. I actually, no. I think I might be a little taller than my mama. <laughs> Maybe. But I like an inch or two. Maybe. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> back to our story. I think the end of this whole story is we got a new beauty. And we have absolutely no clue where it came from. I asked the neighbor um, if he's missing an adult guinea, and he replied to me just a little bit ago and said no. So, we are one guinea up. Oh, yeah. That means so, more instead eggs. of 16 birds, we've got 17, which I don't like. I don't like odd numbers. So I don't either. But, yes, I am hoping for more girl guinea eggs because, well, girls lay those. And I kind of want baby guineas, too. Do you want keeps? Yeah. How are we gonna hatch those? Magic. We Is got it? we gotta use the bubble magic. I thought you guys had it. Yeah, we do. So you guys get to do okay. Okay. We're gonna we're try gonna, and we're film gonna do that. whatever <laughs> happens to see how well this works. Yeah. Okay, so this was an awkward video. Just a bit. Go figure. It always seems to happen when we're, we're the ones doing it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can you tell we have fun together? Yeah. Not at all. Going down. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I think that's the end of this video. Um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.